Labdien, Priviet, Postraf, Mahaba. I'm Table, and welcome to an episode of Blockhood. Now, Blockhood's a new game, got released a few days ago. And I'll be honest, uh, it's really quite fun. It's very, not casual, but it is very, very chilled. Now, I've been playing through these challenge modes, and you can see that I've done the first eight. Uh, only four more to go. Again, don't forget, it's only just come out. And for example, the first challenge is uh, water is an essential resource in the community. Collect 600 units of water, okay? So I've been playing through the challenges. There's also a tutorial, which is also fun. Uh, so I did tutorial challenges, and it's just lovely. But what I want to try is the sandbox. So terrain options, width, depth, height. Oh, there's a height limit, number of blocks. Um, I think 10 is fine. So sandbox is exactly what it is. Um, and the sandbox, I guess, can be all right, but I do like the challenges. But what I want to do is I just want to introduce you to this game. Um, it's 10 bucks, uh, euros, that is. Uh, so in dollars, it would be less? No, more. I don't know how you're strong the euros against the dollar. Um, unleash your creativity. So, sandbox. It's really quite nice. So, W, A, S, S and D rotates it once and zooms out. If it seems a little bright on the screen, it's because what well, the game is. Um, see, so the... See your, uh, <laughs> so you see the menu bar at the bottom. Notice I made it darker and lighter. That's a new thing because uh, that that was how it was. It's just too light. But they changed it. Good job. So this thing shows you your resources, and at the moment I've got money and I'm losing money. So you have to worry about connectivity, uh, buildings in relation to each other, and and it's the real, the harmony between buildings and structures. So we're going to go down to here. And we're going to build a corridor. You can see that the corridor requires half a money for maintenance. And we're just going to do that. Okay. And you've got to click and hold to place. So as we know that that costs money, it costs one to maintain those two squares. So we're just going to leave that like that. Now we want to generate cash. Now one of the best ways to do that I've discovered so far is with oil. Now, it allows you to collect oil from a zone uh, that possesses such a resource. So I'm assuming that this sandbox mode has oil. So I'll put down one oil place. <clears throat> okay, so I'm now generating oil and inorganic waste, but my money is still going down, okay? And this produces, you can see, four oil, four inorganic waste, cost money to produce. Now if I put it next to it, uh, wait, you can see that they get a red arrow down, which means if they're next to each other, the relationship between them, they, their output is less. So let's just delete one of those. Um, you can rotate it by hovering over this inspect and pressing R. Or not. <laughs> Maybe you can't. You can't rotate these things. So we're going to put one there so they won't clash. And then you need an oil tank. So you put four oil in, you get two out, and you get eight bucks. So that's a bargain, isn't it, really, those oil tanks? So we put in one oil tank. Money's now going up. Oil production is still up. Inorganic waste is still up. So let's see if I can get away with putting a second one and seeing if that affects the oil too much. Ah, notice how I put that in and the two blue arrows came up. I think that means that having them next to each other has a relationship as well and that works. So oil, money, inorganic waste, we're all in the plus. So there's no problem so far with what we've got. No problems at all. That is working in harmony. It's self-sustainable, fantastic. So what we have is we have inorganic waste, so we need to get rid of that inorganic waste. Now there's a couple of ways. One is you can recycle it, but you need multiple things to do it. The other one is you can simply burn it. Uh, and burning it is the one we're going to go for initially. Um, so, oh, before, I, I guess, before we talk about incinerators, um, you have here in the data viz, you have the decay. So if buildings don't fulfill their criteria, if they're not connected up to, if they don't have access, for example, they will decay and eventually they will fall apart. If they're not getting their resource in, they will decay and eventually fall apart. Production manager. Uh, production, why is that not producing yet? It's connected. I don't know why that's not producing. It should be producing just fine. Maybe it takes time to start, maybe? Access data. It's got access. I don't know why, I don't know why that is complaining but not about, about not having access. Like, the positioning is exactly the same. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, so, furnace. But I want to keep the ground floor ground floor because I want to produce materials. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to delete, uh, go to delete, and I want to delete this block, okay? And I want to put in, quickly before those things aren't connected, I want to put in an elevator. See, so it gets a bit fiddly, but you have to kind of touch the side of the block next to it. So there we go. So that ele elevator's okay. Can I go? How do I go down? Okay. So you can see that the corridors have lines, and that, like, indicates the direction. Why is that oil thing complaining? I've got plenty of oil. Why is it still flashing? Data viz, decay. It's still decaying. Do you know what? I'm just going to delete it. Let's delete it and see. Okay, well, it's decayed. That's what happens when it decays. It just falls apart. So there we go. Decays happened. They shouldn't decay. Why would they decay? I've got plus everything. Maybe something's happening. See, now that's decaying. Is it because you're not being used? Well, we can use you. That's fine. Let's put another... What is going on here? So let's put that on. There we go. And then let's put on another walkway. And then we want an incinerator. So we're just going to pretend that that's not decaying. Uh, now, the incinerator is this big industrial-looking building. There it is. So let's put that there. Now we are burning inorganic waste. Arrows? No. How do I go over there? Okay. So now, look, now it's decayed. I haven't quite figured out navigation. Q and E? No. That spins the, the thing itself. Hmm. So my lift is decayed now, and I have no idea why. <laughs> I can't even, can't even navigate around to get to it. So... That's decayed. I have no idea why. Literally no idea why that's decayed. Because I haven't played through the whole challenge. So, we can't have an elevator? Fine. If you don't want one, you don't have to have one, buddy. So I can do that, but zoom in, zoom out. But why can't I not just... Can, do I click and drag? It just won't let me. Okay, fine. That's a bit weird. Right, so, burn the inorganic waste. We'll build it on ground level. Um, uh, inorganic waste. Or should we simply... Do you know what? Let's, let's test this. Let's see what happens if I do this. So, oil, 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 oil. There we go. So... My oil production should skyrocket. Ah, but I've got sickness now. I'm guessing that's clearly from all of the oil production. I didn't know if you have enough of them, it would produce sickness. So there's two ways to do with sickness. Ah, I'm getting pollution as well. Okay. So, we got oil. And I bet they're complaining about decay as well now. No, okay, they're absolutely fine. Production, nah, that's fine. No, no, because it's decaying. Why is it doing that? Why does it do that? Can you not have so many of the same building? No, that's production. Access. Ah, maybe that's why. Do they have to be on the edge? Let's test this theory. Uh, there. 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 Ah, okay. That's why. You need to be connected with a pavement. A uh, corridor, sorry. There we go. You feeling better now, buddies? You feeling more connected? Good. So, they shouldn't decay now. Okay, they're getting better. Good. So, they just needed some... They just needed some corridor access. Fine. So, we have... Uh, plenty of oil. Pen Money is down. Okay, so let's do... Let's see if I put those two together. Okay. Yes, there we go. So that's a real money-making machine right there. Money skyrocket skyrocketed. Pollution is down. That must have been caused by the decaying buildings, maybe. And the sickness is not moving. So I think the decay caused that. So we were talking about burning stuff, weren't we? So let's go to our incinerator, which is here. And if we plonk that down, let's just say 
there. Now, our organic waste, inorganic waste is still on the rise, which means we need more incinerators. So let's build another one. Still rising, because we're producing a lot of it, so the more we can burn, the better, really. Still rising. Let's keep burning. <laughs> it's getting really industrial. Come on. Wow, it's still rising. That's a lot of incinerators. Can I stop the... Yeah, there we go. Inorganic waste is on the decrease now. There we go. Let's just put down a few more because we've got a lot of waste to burn. So, <laughs> we're burning, we're producing oil. Now we have the problem with... <clears throat> we have the problem with sickness. People are getting sick. We also have an issue with pollution. So, I've decided that I'm going to deal with the sick by simply burying them. So we need to find a, I'm sure we have it somewhere, a graveyard? Um, graveyard? Where are you? Bee farm. Uh, why? Uh... Ah, there we go, graveyard. So four sickness, one community out. So what we need to do is we need to place graveyards until the sickness is on the decline. <laughs> it's still going. Sickness is still rising. It's still rising. We're making loads of cash though. Just a lot of people being buried. Okay, so sickness is now on the decline. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we also have an issue with pollution. Uh, now the pollution, as far as I'm aware, there's only one way you can get rid of pollution, and it's slow. It's with these trees. So you input water and pollution, and you get fresh air and leisure, okay? So we need water. And there's a few ways to get water. There's a well, but the water tower, you get far more water from. But they cost, it costs cash. But we're gonna put down some water places. I don't think they need to be connected. They can just be out anywhere. So, we're now producing water. Let's put down six, actually. There we go. So we've got water. <clears throat> um, and then what we want to do with the water is uh, use it to stop the pollution. Now, I don't, I don't, I think we're going to have to put down quite a few trees to, uh, to solve this. So we're probably going to end up filling this entire space. And I don't know if it will clear Pollution. And I also don't know if trees need access, so let's just check. Access. No, they're all good. So let's keep putting them in. It's a lot of trees. It's not having a dent yet, is it? Because I am burning a lot of inorganic waste. <laughs> Come on, trees. Please be ecological. Still no. See how bad burning stuff is? Like the amount of pollution is quite excessive. And this is all ground floor stuff as well. So, even with all those trees, the pollution is still on the rise. Oh no, wait, look, it went down one. Went down. Oh, okay. So it is dropping, but it's just rising faster. <laughs> so, what I want to do is. I want to go skyward now. So we're going to go to a corridor. I'm going to go there. Um, and we're going to put in an elevator or a lift, as we uh, non Americans say. So, can I? I like this, it's got a day night cycle as well. I think that's particularly lovely. Right, we've got a lift. So let's put on. Oh no, we need to put another elevator on top. So we're now on second floor territory. Now, <clears throat> you don't need, um, this is where it gets a little bit weird. You don't really need supports, um, but you should, if that makes sense. Like this piece of corridor, as I'm going up to a second level, I should make that a supporting corridor. You see here you have these bits. 
And this is where it gets a little bit weird, because if you delete that, and then you put in your supporting corridor, like so, you rotate it with R, and you put it in, and even though the supports are going that way, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. Like, the supports only go one way. Oh, it means I just have to build them a certain way. Look, so that's not access, production. That's not decay though, structure data. Decay data. Yes, yeah, so it is decaying. Why are you decaying? Let's get that corridor back in. Okay. Uh, that needs to be rotated. Bingo. So the decay should be fixed now. Let's have a look. Let's see if it gets better. It should get better. No, it's getting worse. <laughs> Why do elevators decay? I've got no... Ah, they, they require electricity. That's why. Now I understand. Okay, so elevators need to be powered. So we've got plenty of oil. Can we turn oil into electricity? The answer is yes. But not in a very, uh, not in a very healthy way. So two oil, one money. 20 electricity, 4 pollution, 4 sickness. It's a horrendous way to generate power. However, it will power our lift. So there we go. So we still have the issue with, um, with electricity. Uh, we've got, we're sort of doing the pollution thing. Inorganic waste is a thing of the past. We don't need to worry about that. So that's like a first little glimpse. A little glimpse into it. Um, I think we'll continue with the sandbox mode. Unless you want to see the challenges, we can go through that. Um, but as it as it develops, you'll you'll bring in more resources, and you can see we have only just scratched the surface with the the symbiote.